All right, here we are for round one. Like I say, all the cards in this video are brought to you by Card Hoarder. So if you have Magic Online needs, just check them out. So we're on the draw. This hand kind of can be whatever because we've got like the double interaction plus uh, two fetch lands. I think I'm going to keep this hand because of how low to the ground we are. These can be what we can turn into interaction. We don't have a lot of lands left in the deck. We get scries. And it's just going to like, our graveyard is going to be supercharged with these four cards. And if we're playing against a creature deck, which is, is kind of relevant in modern, then we've got the turn one bolt. Blood Saint Meyer, I would suggest we're playing against Hollow One or Jund, I would think. A mountain would definitely mean we're playing against Hollow One. Or we're playing against Burn. Okay. Burn's tough. So let's check out our top card here. We have another bobble. We definitely don't need that. Um, I'm fairly certain this land's going to fetch me steam vents because I'm likely to lightning bolt or stubborn denial something. So we found a snapcaster, which isn't bad. That means this land can fetch us on either island or swamp. And I'm just going to cycle, just going to do this now. We don't know what this card is. So we have a Sacred Foundry coming, so we can now pass it over. On a good note, we're probably going to be able to get down our Death Shadow next turn. Land's not good. Inquisition's not bad. Unfortunately, as a byproduct of us fetching Steam Vents, we can't cast this and Death Shadow next turn, which could hurt us. Let me just move this. Out of the way for now. There's no need. We don't need that. Actually, I think I have. Excuse me. Yeah, go like that. Okay. Excuse me for that. I just forgot to switch my images. What was going on? So let's take a found we knew about. Hopefully, we have to bolt something here. So say like nylon. Okay. So on the plus side, our death shadow is out of bolt range next turn. We're going to go to 12, and we're probably going to... Okay, so now we're going to change up here. 1, 2, 3. Yeah, we're just going to play... We're going to go to 11, fetch a basic, and play this angler. Oh, I hit OK. We're still good, though. So now we have a clock on the board. We're at a pretty high life total. You can start next turn off by Inquisitioning, and then they'll let me know how much damage I should take in order to get my Death Shadow into play. Because I am going to play Death Shadow next turn, more than likely. Though my opponent does have draws here that like just that just kill me. Because they already have... I'm at eight, a virtual eight. Okay, so we're down... We're down to five. Oh, excuse me one second. My dog was making noise. I was figuring out what that was. So I think we're probably just going to, because they've got three coming down. Let me check out what's coming on top of my deck. Because we're not beating much off the top of our opponent's deck. I might just have to... Because if their hand is perfect, perfect. Let's see what they have coming on top, actually. They have a Swift Spear. So I think I'm going to play Death Shadow, and I don't think I'm going to Inquisition. If they have two Burn Spells, then I'm dead. I think I'm just going to play the Watery Grave. Because if I Shock to play the Death Shadow, then I'm dead to pretty much anything off the top. And in this case, I'm not dead to... I'm just not dead to, like, a spell, one spell plus this. Or, if I have this blocker, they could just play Swift Spear, and then... Um, <clears throat> excuse me. They could just play Swift Spear, and then just have one burn spell and kill me. So we're likely, I, they're probably just sitting on one burn spell. A Stubborn Denial would probably end this game right here off the top, or a Battle Rage. Okay, so let's, this is going to get the action. 
Yep, so skull crack. And we can beat a creature. We just can't beat we can beat a creature, but we can't beat a spell. Can't beat Searing Blaze. So it's basically just a creature. This will just flash in the Snapcaster Mage and block. A lot of draws just kill us. Most draws kill us. I feel like I'd be dead by now if they didn't have it. They're shocking. Okay. They're playing around. I don't know what they were playing around, but they got us. That's how it had to be. Like, we had them if we just needed one more spell. We, we need them to miss once. So against Burn, these Collective Brutalities are very good. I'm going to assume the Stubborn Denial is very good. I want to get these Street Wraiths and these Dismembers out of my deck. So, um, the Braid's probably good. And then it's whether what's better, the Colagon's Command or the Engineer Explosives. And I think I'm going to put it in the Colagon's Command because they randomly sometimes bring in... Um, whatever it's called, uh, they bring in Ensnaring Bridge, and that just kills Ensnaring Bridge. we got three ways to kill Bridge, so I could shave a Snapcaster and bring in one more, but sometimes a Snapcaster at the end of the turn is good, good enough to, to just put a little, put a, enough pressure on. Like, we just needed a little bit more in that game we were, when we had it, but I just needed one more little spell, just to clear the blocker. So one, two, five. Yes, yeah, so we have a turn two angler, so we're going to keep that. I don't think we can mulligan a turn two angler. So let's start off by looking at our top card. Thoughtsies. I don't want Thoughtsies. I think I'm going to shock myself because it's like it's going to be good to get enough black sources and the game slow down a little bit after sideboarding. So it's okay to take a little bit more damage. Cuz they're bringing in cards like Path to Exile or um they're bringing in cards like Path and let's do this right now. Okay, so we had we had a battle rage which is pretty big. They're bringing Path Bridge, Deflecting Palm, so the games are just a little slower. And we're still going to be able to get Angler down. The question is, do I want to take three to Thoughtseize to Inquisition? So if I go Fetch Shock, get Blood Crypt. I want to get this Death Shadow online. So I think we're going to just go Fetch Shock, Inquisition then to start, and then get Angler down. I want to be able to hit like a pass. Because now that we have Death Shadow and Battle Rage, we should be able to finish this game. Okay, so Boros Charm, Boros Charm, Eidolon. So if I take Boros Charm, my opponent plays Eidolon, I then next turn play Death Shadow, go to 11, Thought sees a Boros Charm, take 4, go to 7. Battle Rage puts me to 5 the turn after. So if my opponent doesn't hit anything, then they need to hit two spells. They basically need to hit a Burn Spell this turn and a Burn Spell next turn to kill me. So I'm just going to take this Boros Charm and then Delve, leaving the Inquisition in my graveyard. So we're going to take six next turn. There's the Vantage. Here's the Eidolon. Okay. Definitely not going to cast that. So let's start by taking the Boros Charm. Yeah. 
I'm going to attack my opponents. That's dangerous. So I don't think that my opponents actually got an out because they need to draw a path to exile for this death shadow or they need to draw like a deflecting palm. There's wooded foothills. And we're just going to go for it. Like, this is going to make this 16. That shadow's going to be 16. So they can put enough in front of it to not die, I guess. Depending on what we draw. Our opponent doesn't have an attack. Okay. They have to, they have to block both. So I don't want to cast that because that puts me dead to anything. Like this battle rage play just puts me dead to basically deflecting palm, and that's it. So we're gonna swing in here with both. We're gonna go five. And it's basically deflecting palm, path to exile or bust. So this, they're still dead, right? Because, yeah, we're battle raging over for a bunch. Because this is 8, 16 minus, yeah. So moment of truth. If they hit it, they hit it. And then, if they do have a deflecting palm, we then push our shadow. We go to three, and then we're we're virtually Eidolon locked. But we're Eidolons, I'm staring at my opponent's Eidolon, with I have, when I have Gurmag Angler, because they're going to 10 here. What do you got, dude? It appears... Red, red's nothing. Who are they skull cracking? Skull cracking me. Yeah, I don't. This is still. I mean, you're still. Just, they're still dead. I don't know why they're making. I guess they're just doing this to do it. And that's why we did not cast the push before combat. Okay. My opponent probably misclicked there when the other drawing cards. Okay, so I think we're gonna keep it as is. I don't see anything any of these cards get better on the draw. I don't think so. I think it's kind of they're all the cards are good no matter what, whether you're on play or the draw. So I think we're just gonna submit and then give it another run back. Okay, so this is a very quick, um, very quick Gurmag Angler hand. So I think I'm gonna keep this. We need to get Angler down, and the looting should help. Looting looks great here. This is where looting looks good. Where like not all of our cards matter. We we won the game with two cards in our hand that were relevant. So going down a card is not bad. This is a very good looting play. So my opponents likely got another land because you don't ever they don't ever fetch from Mountain if that's it. So we revealed Kologon's command. We're probably going to discard that one. So we're going to get Blood Crypt because this can get us either basic. All right, I believe Kologon's command is going to be too slow. And I think that this second land isn't really what we're looking for. 
basically what we need is stubborn denials and that's kind of all we're looking for right now so I think we're going to go here and here cast this uh, I guess good order of operations we do this in my opponent's upkeep so we've got the turn two angler so they're drawing a land which is good Okay, so I still have the Bloodstain Liar. Okay, go, don't, oh my god, is this another guide? This is a very aggressive draw for my opponent. Oh, it's a Rift Bolt. We're getting very close to needing Death Shadow in order to win this match. Okay. Okay. So if I go, my opponent has a Bloodstain Liar in their hand. If. I go Fetch Shock Watery Grave. My Death Shadows are 5-5s. Five this Rift Bolt either goes at me. I'm at 8. So then they're going to be drawing. They can have up to 3 spells in their hand. And I'll be going to 5. 5. They've got 3 mana. I'm fairly certain that if I go Shadow Shadow... I'm going to either die this turn or win next turn. I can go, there's no There's no difference between going Shadow Shadow or Shadow Angler. So the question is, should I just play Angler and not and be conservative? And I'll be taking at least five next turn. I think my best line of play is to go Shadow Shadow and cross my fingers. Because we have, like, there's, there's a decent likelihood that Shadow Shadow wins us the game next turn if we don't die. Because if I just play Gurmag Angler, they're just going to suicide into it or either kill it with the with the um, um, another kill it with the Rift Bolt plus Goblin Guide, and then I don't have a clock. So I'm fairly sure my best play is to fetch sock. I didn't want to fetch a basic because then they could just kill it with the uh, kill it with the rift bolt. So my opponent has two burn spells. They've got me, and this would suggest they've got me. They need two out of four basically. There's a, there's one of them, and their last card. Yep, opponent's got it. All right, we'll be back for the next round.